good morning. My name is Stephanie Shiska, and I am pleased to introduce the Community Compost Cooperative Project. This project has been created in partnership with the Round Hill Renaissance Agricultural Foundation by University of Alberta students Robert Hunter, Emily Newsham, Elijah Schmuland, and Stephanie Shiska. The Community Compost Cooperative has been a dynamic collaborative project that has allowed students to work directly with Round Hill Renaissance Agricultural Foundation sponsors. Jackie Ewald, Taryn Holden, and Nicola Irving have been three key volunteers that have made this foundation possible. In 2020, it was let known to public that the Round Hill Public School was facing potential permanent closure after being shortlisted by the Battle River School Division at the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic. Parents and community members joined together to develop and propose an agricultural education program. The aim of the program is to bring sustainable education and agricultural practices into the rural communities. The Round Hill Renaissance Agricultural Foundation is dedicated to addressing food insecurity within the local community and has already provided donations to community members as well as to the local Toefield Food Bank. The Community Foodscape Project has been a key development for the Round Hill Renaissance Agricultural Foundation. This agricultural education program is located on 3.58 acres of bare lease land, which was generously donated by the Camrose County on a five-year term. Ongoing projects include the Renaissance Garden, boasting a 7,000 square foot conventional garden, as well as raised garden beds constructed for each grade in 2021. A food forest with edible fruit trees and shrubs exists, and there's a tree sponsorship program where living tributes may be made and a five to six foot fruit tree planted in honor or in memory of an individual. The food forest has a goal of creating a sustainable food source for generations to come. The shelter belts and outdoor classrooms exist for educational purposes, and there are plans to create a fall bin zebo this upcoming season. In addition, a composting center with cold compost three bin system does exist, though throughout this project suggestions have been made to improve the cold composting success rate. The Community Compost Cooperative project goals have heavily revolved around education and increasing awareness of composting and the importance of soil health. To improve the success rate of current composting methods used at the Round Hill Renaissance Agricultural Foundation, we have provided education around proper nutrient ratios, the importance of aeration and turning your compost piles, and how to troubleshoot issues as they arise. An additional composting method has been proposed, the Berkeley hot composting method. This would allow for students to learn the difference between hot and cold composting. To facilitate student and community education, we have provided brochures as educational tools, and we've also provided suggestions for future additions and improvements that may be made throughout this program. The benefits of composting. Implementing this practice offers us several benefits that are not limited to the three main points. Although during our team's research process, benefits related to the environment, finances, and education stood out as most notable. Many of these benefits are short-term or can be directly observed, while other benefits of compost composting offers long-term gains. First and foremost, let's look at the environmental benefits of composting as they're most related to the process. For those who don't compost, their leftovers and organic waste will typ typically go to the landfill. There, the decomposition process occurs anaerobically, generating methane gas in the process, a greenhouse gas that is harmful to our atmosphere. Instead, using a compost to dispose of food waste aerobically drastically reduces the amount of methane gas produced during the breakdown of materials. While carbon dioxide, another greenhouse gas, is produced in this process, carbon dioxide is 26 times less, more, less potent than methane gas. Furthermore, the redirection of waste from the landfill to a local or home compost cuts down on the pollutants released from vehicles during transportation. By incorporating compost into your garden, the immediate ecosystem around it will benefit. The nutrients and moisture developed in the composting process improve soil quality and composition. This prevents soil erosion and makes plant growth easier and more resilient. When plants are grown on healthy soil too, the need for watering and chemical fertilizers are reduced. 
The use of chemical fertilizers also harm the environment as they can release greenhouse gases to the atmosphere and contaminate ground and surface water. This also threatens humans, humans and animals who co consume the water or the plants that grow using that water. Therefore, the reduced need to fertilize and impl implementing compost, along with the redirection of waste to the landfill, contribute to a healthy environment. The economic benefits of composting parallel the environmental benefits closely, although we can still consider them from a different lens. Food waste redirected to the garden means that your garbage will fill slower, reducing the amount of bags required over time and putting less waste products in the garbage trucks. As noted earlier as well, the need for chemical fertilizers are reduced for those who use compost because of the increased resiliency in plant growth. While this may not seem like that much money for one individual, it can add up for larger scale gardening or farming projects. Additionally, the lack of water required to maintain the soil due to the compost's moisture reduces the task of watering, and in turn, the water bill. We can see that composting can directly reduce the amount of money required in agricultural resources. It additionally releases the time and effort needed in watering and fertilizing. Overall, vital resources are able to be re reallocated when compost is incorporated into a garden, resulting in economic benefits. Along with the direct environmental and economic benefits of this process, composting offers educational benefits, a core value of Round Hill Renaissance Agricultural Foundation. By observing and learning from nature, individuals establish an, appreci an appreciation for their ecosystem soil, plants, and animals. This deeper understanding fosters a sense of connection and accountability to the environment that calls for an increased level of mindfulness when considering the impacts of one's daily choices. Education programs that include composting in their curriculum also cover vital information for students related to sustainable practices and biological processes, such as decomposition, plant growth, and the transfer of nutrients. Methods and approach. So the first thing that we did when we were assigned this project was we got in contact with our sponsors, the Round Hill Renaissance Agricultural Foundation, because we wanted to find out what their goals and what their vision for this project would be. Um, the first thing that they really talked about was the fact that their composting in previous years hadn't been successful. So we wanted to tackle that head on and see whether we can modify what they're currently doing or whether we could introduce some new methods. And then the second was education. They wanted to provide education to their community as well as their students. So with that in mind, we decided to come up with two brochures. The first brochure is a community brochure and has information about a new method of composting as well as their old methods of composting. And then we decided to do a student brochure which basically focused around permaculture composting, which is the current composting method that they are using in the Round Hill Public School. So this is the first deliverable. This is our community uh, brochure, the exterior fold. So obviously this is the front and this would be the back and this would be our inside fold, which features information about what the Round Hill Agricultural Foundation is and why it was created, as well as another project that they currently have ongoing, as well as what can and cannot be composted. The interior fold has information about hot versus cold composting, the ratios of browns to greens in composting, as well as some of the composting methods that are currently at the Round Hill School, as well as one current method that we are recommending. So the Berkeley hot method we are introducing as a new method, which is a form of composting which allows you to compost in about 18 days. Um, and we thought it would be a good project for the students. Um, the other composting methods are the three bin compost, which is the current method that they have on site, as well as the vermiculture compost, which is what is available in the Round Hill Public School. We also have information about what compost is, uh, its benefits, and its uses. The second deliverable includes a stone student brochure. This is the front of the student brochure. This is the back. And then this is just a little activity that was provided to kind of help solidify the information that is learned. So what can and cannot be composted. The inside fold shows information about what vermiculture composting is, uh, how to create your own vermiculture compost at home, obviously with adult supervision, um, information about what kind of worms can be used, how to feed your worms, and how to harvest your compost once you are done composting. The most important issue we wanted to tackle was the lack of education about composting within the community. No matter what new programs were added, if people weren't taught how to compost, then those new programs would likely be ineffective. The brochure serves as a way to educate all potential composters on how to compost, as well as uh, spread awareness about the program itself. 
This means that more people will be introduced to the Round Hill Renaissance Agricultural Foundation, and they will be better educated on how they can help the new composting initiative. A brochure is also a compact way to store information, and so should any volunteer get stuck on what to do next, they always have something to look back into for some answers. And we also thought that the brochure was a very affordable me uh, method of contact to the community, as the, uh, the cost of a brochure is directly linked to the population, and the population of Round Hill is fairly small, uh, making it within budget. And lastly, we thought these brochures would be easily accessible to all the, uh, the people within the community and not just people who are more technologically inclined and or have technology. We wanted to include people that may not have access to a computer or not know how to access their website. We created two brochures to encourage learning across all ages, where the older audiences have access to a more informative brochure about all of the compost methods within the Round Hill Ag Renaissance Agricultural Foundation, and the younger audiences have a brochure dedicated to the vermicompost bins they have within their classrooms. And both of these brochures would help uh, will help educate people on composting as a whole. We also had the Berkeley Hot Method as a potential class project for students within the school. Since this compost could be created in, within the course of three weeks, and it's an incredibly high maintenance compost, we figured uh, that students could engage in the compost pro uh, process, getting to see every step of the way, and even getting to see a finished project before the end of the term. There are plenty of future endeavors for the Round Hill Renaissance Agricultural Foundation to embark on. What the first recommendation we had was to consider investing in a few different forms of composting in order to improve the efficiency of their composting process. This would also grant them the opportunity to showcase new methods to the people within the Round Hill community. Another important step we considered was the modification of their website to include an in-depth information about composting. This would help educate the people of, the, of Round Hill, as well as provide them the resources they need to develop their own composting system. Uh, lastly, since education is one of the mission statements of the Round Hill Renaissance Agricultural Foundation, uh, we thought they should consider holding workshops led by students and teachers to help uh, adequately teach the people of Round Hill and also give them an opportunity to uh, an opportunity to see how this compost process is being made. So for our closing remarks, we would like to thank the Round Hill Renaissance Agricultural Foundation just for taking the time out of their days to help us with this project, as well as just for setting a really good example for showing that you can have a small group of people and you can still create a huge impact on a community. So thank you guys again for being the leaders that we need at this time. And Thank you for listening to our presentation. Here are our references. Okay. Thank you.